asshole. Cowboys wasted. You're fresh out of friends. This guy almost looks like Brandon Likes Movie. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Full Metal Jacket. This is also another highly anticipated film that a lot of you guys have wanted me to check out. Now, again, similar to like Indiana Jones and, you know, those pop culture films that obviously people just know about due to just culture experiences. This is the same way. You know, I've seen so many clips about this film. However, I've never sat down and, uh, you know actually took the time to watch it from beginning middle and end and i definitely am excited to kind of you know really watch this film as a whole to kind of develop more context about it now um for me personally from the clip that i was shown for some reason i always thought this film was like a comedy film <laughs> especially when i was younger uh just because of like i guess you could call it i think this is like where the drill sergeant scene is um I, I just always thought like, you know, in the context of just how it was used in pop culture that it that this was going to be like a comedy film. However, um, no, nah, I mean, I think this is kind of like up there with Apocalypse Now and uh, uh, Platoon in terms of like seriousness, I'm assuming. So I'm really excited to kind of see where this development kind of takes the story and how it decides to do that we've been watching a lot of really incredible war films that obviously you know they showcase a very accurate depiction of war as true as they possibly can um however what i really admire lately with the war films that we've been covering on this channel is the psychological aspects within uh warfare and how that takes a toll on an individual and how they begin to interpret or as to say justify reality in their eyes and i think the previous films that we've watched that showcase that have done an excellent job so i'm really excited to kind of just explore that more and see specifically how full metal jacket is able to also comprehend something like that if it even tries to it may do something entirely different and i'm really excited for that but again guys if you want to be able to you know recommend more movies similar to like full metal jacket uh platoon apocalypse now definitely comment below i make sure to read all the comments as best as i possibly can so yeah I'm really excited to kind of just watch more films similar to this little heads up as well guys if you want to be able to support this channel the best way is definitely checking out the patreon there for full length uh, you can vote on which movie uh to kind of like what i should watch next you can have early access there's a whole lot of things you can do on the patreon we're also including like a monthly drop um you know where you can win like a vinyl you can win uh like a book or um, a manga just personal things that i value and i think others can value from so i mean i think that's a really cool way for everybody to just you know engage with one another and uh yeah you can just sign up at the lowest tier so it's like super easy and i don't know i think it's really cool to kind of have stuff like that um i don't really see a lot of people really doing that in that way so i'm happy to kind of like start that up on the patreon too so again that's just for people who are interested in that if you don't want to do anything with the patreon it's totally fine you can still support this channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe as well as sharing if you feel like that would be beneficial for you um but also if you can't do any of those maybe for instance you don't have a sign in account and you can't physically do any of those it's perfectly fine just sit back relax and grab your favorite popcorn and snacks and your drink as we hop right into full metal jacket Write me while I'm I also did not know that Stanley Kubrick made this film. Wow. Okay. All right. This is cool. I did not. I literally did not know that until his name popped up on the screen. This is um, a really cool shot because I always find the shaving of head just like meaning something new, like going through a new stage in your life. I mean, I just find it so interesting that, you know, shaving of your head just before going into like obviously wherever they're about to go into like you know the military is a uh, that in itself is pretty significant for an individual yeah like this is your hair you're talking about do you maggots understand that sir, sir, yes, sir. bullshit i can't hear you sound off like you got Damn. a hair we're hopping right into the scene okay great this is this is great so the rest of the movie is going to be like completely unknown for me that's awesome but the more you hate me, the more you will learn. 
I am hard. What a beautiful tracking shot. See, the things that I miss out from, like, you know, watching the entire film, I never knew that this was an entire shot looping around as he's just, like, roasting them. That's incredible. What a great way to shoot this. Like that name? Uh, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. <laughs> Dog. Golly, yo, he came in hard at this dude. The very fucking godmother said it. I'm fucking standing. I will PT you all until you fucking die. I'll PT you until you. <laughs> yeah, yo, this guy is incredible, man. He has to be like a, like a drill instructor because like he's he's doing a phenomenal job. I also haven't seen this actor around, so I mean he has to be like a you know someone they probably picked up, right? I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <clears throat> you little scumbag. God damn, man. God damn. They really able to do this to you? Got a war face? Ah! That's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! Bullshit. You didn't convince me. Let me see your... Damn it, dude. Like, is this all improv? Like, is this improv? Is he going just off the rails right now? Or is it like a combination of both? Private. Sir, five foot nine, sir. Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. You trying to squeeze... Golly, bro. This dude, man. The best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a... This dude is ridiculous, bro. Sir! Are you a Peter Pepper? Sir, no, sir! I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I'll be watching you. Golly, bro. Yo, man. Damn. What a, what a way to... What a way to set the scene. You could be a modern art masterpiece. What's your name? Also, is that Wilson Fisk? Lawrence, Lawrence, what of a rape? Why does this guy look like Wilson Fisk? Like, the actual actor. Hey, sir, yes, sir. That's totally Wilson Fisk. That's the guy, that's Wilson Fisk. What? Sir, yes, sir. Help, 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 help. What a, what a, what a, what a way to open up your film. I did not know that was the opening to this film. But that does put, like, a really interesting texture over it because all of them they start off at the same level together you're all pieces of craps to him <laughs> so i guess it's only uphill from here <laughs> pile sir yes sir what side was that private pile sir right side sir Don't god damn bro jesus like i don't like with this i don't know like i don't know how to really comment on this because I don't I don't like I don't know this 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 area um but just speaking from personally I think that's effed up <laughs> I think that's effed up I don't think that's like you know how you can you know really teach somebody but you know that's just my opinion I'm pretty sure you know he has his ways but then again, I'm not sure. This could be like a whiplash type of thing, you know? The master of my life. Without me, my rifle is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. I must fight. This is such a brilliant combo of beautiful, beautifully framed shots as well as the editing. There's a lot of great compositions, and obviously it makes sense because, you know, it's Stanley Kubrick, but I think... The way it's showcasing the story is just as important as the context within it. You climb obstacles like old people fuck. You know that private pile? Get up here. You're too slow. Move it. Move it. Right. Like you hear him everywhere. Like I'm saying, like he's he's up there <laughs> just, just yelling. Like it's just nonstop yelling. Like you could just hear him everywhere. Oh my goodness, man. Such clever framing going on here. Like, I, I think that's all I can say, because if I touch too much into it, then I'll be, like, missing a little bit of what's happening. But such brilliant framing going on with these shots. These are very planned out shots, obviously. But, man, 
Like this is extremely, extremely engaging to watch. And the shots just make it even even more so. What a haunting music. Especially with the lighting, the coloring of this. It just makes it super eerie. Damn, dude. That's effed up, man. One motivated Marine and his rifle can do. And before you ladies God. leave my island... Man, this shot is menacing. Oh my goodness, wow. I haven't seen a shot like that in a minute. In a minute, man. Wow, that was a powerful one. Nice. <laughs> He's like... Oiled. <laughs> Dude, you guys just basically made a... You guys, I don't know, you guys basically made a murderer, man. Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting I'm not getting good vibes from this guy, man. He's about to murk all of y'all. But the Marine Corps lives forever. And that means you live forever. Wow, what an iconic voice, man. Like, I don't know how he's able to bring that much energy every single day on set. That's why I'm asking if he is like an actual drill sergeant himself because like that is so much strain on the on the throat man like you just have to have a trained throat for that <laughs> you just know it's gonna be something creepy man god dude what when did this become a horror film man oh my goodness man and six two millimeter Full metal jacket. Damn, FMJ, dude. Damn. Boy, oh no. Oh no. Such unhinged energy I'm feeling right now. The private pile has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! Yup, that's when shit gets serious. Shit gets serious now. And I want it now. You will place that rifle on the deck at your feet and step back away from his whole demeanor shifted immediately. Oh my goodness, man. He looks like a shark. What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Oh my god. Yo, he actually shot him. He actually shot him. Oh, dude. Yo, this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is insane, dude. This is really wild. <laughs> wow. That is that's haunting. And the soundtrack too, that grumbling. Yeah, I got shivers, man. Whoa! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I was not ready for any of that. Like I had a feeling, but it it just you know how like even then you just you can't comprehend. Even when it's right in front of you, you still can't comprehend it. That's what I felt. That was so well done. The color, the music, the acting. That was a horror movie right there. Not a particularly popular war. Now, it is our job to report the news that these, uh, why are we here, civilian newsmen ignore. Sir. That's interesting. So are we going to be focusing primarily on the journalism behind this? Which haven't, you know, it hasn't been showcased before in any other, you know, war film that we've watched. So kind of like what I said at the beginning of the film, I'm happy to see another take on you know, uh, the branches of the military. Damn, yo, like this is... They're really just straight up infiltrating this base right now. We got condition red and we're definitely expecting rain. Outstanding, sir. We taking care of business? 
Well, the NBA are dug in deep. Hotel company still working this side of the room. This is an awesome shot, man. This is a really awesome shot. Just like this long take with like all the, Scuttlebutt, sir, about the, the NBA tanks and a lot of civilians. cars and just helicopters just passing by. It is, it's wild, man. God, I love these shots like this. When, when they like pull in and pull back, let you know that you're about to see something pretty effed up. This is a crazy shot right here, man. Damn. Yeah, I mean, again, just stylistically, this is probably the best shot f uh, war film I've seen so far. You know, if I were to compare shots between Apocalypse Now and Platoon, and they all had brilliant cinematography, but there is just something so sophisticated about the camera movements within some of these compositions here. Another thing I got to praise, man, is the freaking soundtrack. Golly, man. Like, it's been mostly ambient sounds. There hasn't even been a lot of, you know, rhythm with it. It's just been... Almost like it's almost like being in like a, a thunderstorm. And you're just awaiting lightning to hit or just something to hit unexpectedly. Yo, like this shot is insane, man. <laughs> like it's really good just how certain things can go from the foreground, midground, and background and just all move and just like sick nurse uh just just in sync you know like especially with all those layers man better you than me well at least they died for a good cause i love that they're going around and shooting it like that again like i said the sophistication of each shot is just really well done it's all with the uh tanks we roll in roll in the streets so uh they send us in first the squad make sure that they're no uh it's really interesting where this film has transformed especially coming from the beginning that you know we kind of left off at when we're in white city it's like a war you know like what 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 i thought what i Definitely an interesting turn. I'm excited to see what else, like, you know, the story is going to, you know, tackle. The rifle. What do I think about America's involvement in the war? Well, I think we should win. I hate Vietnam. I think it's so crazy how so many individuals, man. You know, I think that's the pretty cool part about this section of the film is that it's highlighting every individual and their thoughts on... A war that they're all fighting together. It's like the theme is they really don't know why they're there. They really don't know. And I don't really think anybody has told them. So they kind of have to find reason within the madness they were thrown in. Hey, hey, I won't be long. I'll skip the foreplay. Damn, yo. That was that was that was wild, bro. <laughs> that was wild. That's that's crazy. Like that's really crazy. That that becomes like a like a normality. She, she really didn't even look of age, bro. Like that's that's really that's really bizarre. <laughs> Golly, bro. Damn. Damn, man. That dude got wasted so quick. That's a scary shot right there. That is a that is a scary frame right there. Mm. Ah! Damn, man. Damn, bro. 
The way these shots are being framed, man, it's honestly the framing. The framing of these shots are incredible. If there's one thing to make, you know, your story just that much more compelling, take like a couple more minutes to frame up your shot. Fire till I tell you. God dang, man. Times he can't wait that long. I've seen this before. That sniper's just trying to suck us in one at a time. God damn, man. That's rough. That's rough. Oh my goodness. Damn, man. God, this is a terrible situation. What a way to shoot those screams, too, man. Oh, my God. Go get them. Let's do it. Stand down, mother. That's a direct order. <laughs> Fuck you. Damn, man. I find it so wild that, like, you know, that part was shot like that, you know? Yikes, dude. Yikes. Oh, my God. That's crazy, man. What a situation this turned out to be, man. What a set, by the way. Like, this set is ginormous, man. Definitely worth the battleground for this. Donna, give me that radio. Murphy, this is Kel. Oh, Doc, dude. Doc, you're right. You're right there. He can still see you. Damn it, dude. Oh, bruh. Damn. Oh, man. That I felt like that one could have been avoided right there. My favorite aspect so far, as you guys can probably already tell, is the cinematography from from this film. The cinematography is dangerously good in this film. Like it's it's this is really good. Again, you have this soundtrack. Just just it sounds like. A bunch of metal just just cranking it just like it sounds like metals being twisted in a cave and it's just echoing <laughs> oh snap oh wow so much just happened turns out that that's just a girl his guns jammed or it ran out of ammo oh my goodness this is bad Hey, asshole. Cowboys wasted. You're fresh out of friends. This guy almost looks like Brandon Likes movie. No. And I say we leave the goop for the mother loving rat. <laughs> Doesn't he kind of look like Brandon Likes movies, y'all? <laughs> Brandon. You're a little crazy. Damn, man, this is a haunting shot, man. I'm happy that, you know, they chose to stay on this frame, you know? I think the beautiful thing about it is that We're your brain can't help but interpret, you know? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is really well done right here. Fucking hardcore. Oh, he has the he has a stare. He definitely has a thousand yard stare right there. All right, guys, and that wraps up Full Metal Jacket. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up Full Metal Jacket. Man, this is this was definitely uh, a, a very fascinating watch. Definitely from the perspective of the cinematographer um, and just frame wise how the story was told. I think that was probably my favorite aspect of this film was just how this story was shot you know and at first i you know the, obviously i would say the the 
first half, uh, in my opinion, was like the strongest part for me. Um, and as the second half started to reveal itself, or just I would say like, you know, a little bit after that sequence, um, I was wondering, you know, where this story was going, or what it was it trying to, you know, show us, you know, because after that beginning sequence, it kind of became a loose end. And I was wondering, I was like, hmm, like, what is it that, you know, this, the, the story is trying to tell me here, you know, because obviously this is intentional. Um, and I don't think I really have an opinion of it because I don't truly understand it. However, my reaction from it, my feelings towards it is, um, and you guys can, you know, see if this is a correct interpretation of it. It's kind of like highlighting, you know, just a day of one person's journey throughout being a, a Marine, you know, um, and just all one person, just one can witness throughout their journey of being a Marine. And, you know, uh, this whole weird combination of what history wants us to know you know throughout this movie we're being told you know documentation and doing all of this but you know it's only being showcased or i guess you could say told if it like suits like a certain favor what i'm what i'm getting at is that basically what i'm what i'm thinking is the, the the meaning behind the later half of this film is to kind of showcase those aren't documented like those aren't you know written down uh or you know photographed or videotaped you know like there are so many things throughout just one individual's journey through being a marine or just being in the military that the cameras don't see and the metamorphosis of a character that goes beyond just, you know, a newspaper article of whatever war that, you know, me and you would probably be reading at home, you know. So I, I think maybe that was probably, um, you know, the intention either way. I can also be, you know, dead, dead wrong. So, you know, you guys let me know what your thoughts are on that as well, too. I'm definitely going to educate myself more on the uh you know the, the themes behind this film but man this was like incredibly shot you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this film as well too as always guys stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the backseat